Uh, I just want to say really quickly, uh, growing up in Memphis, Tennessee, um, I was called all types of names just for being creative. And um, I remember I ended up on this <clears throat> small television show um, <laughs> called the Disney Channel's new MMC. <laughs> before Seventh Heaven. <laughs> but not as important. Um, um, and I was 10 years old, and all of a sudden, I was around a group of young people that were like me, that were different. This is not part of our speech, but I just felt compelled to say it because it just kind of hit me. Um, we're also big Mars fans, so we felt like, oh, this is yours. We also felt like this was appropriate. I'm tilting mine to the side. You're tilting yours? I'll tilt tilting mine to the, to the side, side, girl. Shit. Take them off, we look like we're in another boy band. <laughs> These young people here tonight, I, I, we're just blown away, the two of us. Uh, thank you so much. Um, as Joe uh, mentioned, and as you may have heard, we are, uh, uh, my beautiful wife and I are, uh, are a couple of new parents. We're not very good at it yet. <laughs> um, so first, we, we want to say thank you to uh, Glisten, uh, not just for this uh, meaningful honor we are proud to share, but for a quarter century of inspiring positive change, which means, yes. which means you are right around the same time as the Mickey Mouse Club, but still not as important as Seventh Heaven. <laughs> I'm kidding, very important. Um, we want to thank you for leading the way to make our schools more safe, welcoming, and yes, inspiring places for all of our children. Thank you for inviting us here tonight to be part of this amazing event. And also, thank you for allowing uh, Mommy and Daddy to have a rare date night out together. Oh, yeah. With other adults. Honey, look around. This is what adults look like. They do exist. They do exist. So, thank you, Glisten, so much for all that you do to ensure the individuality of every kid. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender is respected, protected, and treasured in our schools. Jess and I share this honor with all of you. Uh, every day, all of you are also standing proudly on the right side of history. And even, uh, and even with all the trouble in our world today, this movement clearly is winning and is going to keep on winning. So we say thank you uh, for starting a trend for change, a change that one day would make it possible for our own son to grow up and thrive in a world where, like my new boss, he's gonna be your boss at some point if he's not Jeffrey Katzenberg, <laughs> uh, said, uh, where all he has to do is just be himself. And lastly, to anyone here tonight who may have been bullied or treated unfairly for being who you are. Raise a hand. Oh, look, we, are, we all are the same. <laughs> <laughs>
We would like to leave you with a little quote from one of our favorite poets and playwrights, Oscar Wilde. A man who had no problem being his true self, even at a time when there was zero acceptance. And here it goes. Always forgive your enemies. Nothing annoys them so much. (laughs) 